Hello traders, this is JP and I'm bringing you a new installment on how to use the Octave system effectively. A little bit about me in case you're new to tuning in. I go back many, many years. I've been trading since I was a young child uh, into my early 20s and 30s and beyond. Uh, I've developed several very popular trading systems over this past few decades. And today what we're going to be showing you is the Octave 3 system. Now, what I also want to show you is that I have some uh, trades that I did do prior to this uh, taping and in this video I'm also going to show you how I did over 200 plus trades and still managed to maintain almost 90% accuracy. Now instead of me just talking about it, let me actually show you what was actually done. This is uh, my FX counter book and what we're doing is we're looking at what the performance has been up to this point and so far they count up you know, it's a modest amount, 7.56%. Now, what I want to show you is the amount of trades that was actually placed. And keep in mind, this is manual trading. This is no kind of automated robot or anything like that. This is just purely manual trading. Why I chose to do manual trading? Because I want to show you what kind of skills I personally have. But at the same time, I'm also going to show you how to actually trade the same way I trade. So in here, what I want to do is show you that... I have completed over 221 trades. Right now, my accuracy stands at 88%. So out of 221 trades, I only lost 27, which isn't bad. Now, that I've established that I do know how to trade and I do know what I'm talking about, what I want to show you next is how to actually place trades the way I place them. So the thing is that there's so many trading systems and indicators and people coming with all this stuff. And over the past decade, you know, it's like I never found anything good. Everything was just garbage or rehashed or some kind of cheap knockoff of the original theory of mathematics that somebody came up with. And a lot of people don't even understand what the original author's intentions were anyway for some of these indicators. And people are using them in improper ways and methods, cooking up all this weird, you know, hoopla stuff. So what I had to do was I had to go to the beginning, research, development, trial and error. And I just developed my own stuff. I just built it from the ground up, you know, and just did my own thing. And sometimes that's what you got to be. You got to be an independent trader. Sometimes you have to think freely and you have to get away from mainstream thinking, which is only probably going to get you in trouble. So sometimes like when I look on YouTube, I, I laugh because like say back in 2006, I was putting out videos about, you know, fibs and pibs and all that stuff. And it's funny because I go on YouTube, you know, seven years later and I hear these people saying, I'm going to teach you how to do Fibonacci like a pro, you know, and it's like, dude, you're kind of late on that boat. I was messing with that stuff like a long time ago. And it's funny because it's like back then it kind of worked, you know, the markets were different, but now you introduce a whole new set of people with high frequency trading systems like me and are dealing with deep learning neural networks, not supervised learning systems, you know, Fibonacci pivot points, they have their place, but it's not in the hierarchy. Now I have new theor theoretical math models that are dealing with ether now and a whole bunch of cool quantum physics stuff. And that's what's been built into, integrated into the Octave system I actually use. But before you go into the whole advanced stuff, I need to make sure you actually understand the basics of what we're actually doing because the worst thing you can do is use a system that you really don't understand how it works and that's where you don't want to go. So let's go ahead and open up our charts and we're going to go ahead and load Octave. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just go ahead and resize it. When you first launch it, you're going to have to stretch it out a little bit. And I kind of like to change my color on a little bit too. And then you just drag this bar up. And you want to go to Live Signals, Activate. Go ahead and log in. Put in your password. Okay, so I'm logged into the system. And what I want to do is I want to go ahead and just do a quick peek at what's going on with the markets. Wake downtrend. 
do not trade do not trade weak all right so I got a quick look at what's going on with the markets and I think I'm going to go with I want to see the underlining uh, fundamentals here. So I need to enlarge this a little bit. Okay. Now there's a couple parts to this. There's the halo. There's the recommended entry. There's the advice, do not trade. And then there's the fundamental underlining conditions. Now, you can place trades on your own as a manual trader without having to do the, the recommended entry. You can use discretion. Now, what I want to do is, what I'm paying close attention to is where that is. Because anything between here and here is basically a range market, which means I can scalp. I can go back and forth like a ping pong ball all day, just scalping the hell out of the market for, you know, three, four, five, ten pips all day long. It adds up. It piles up. But the problem is with scalping is, if you're not careful, you will get scalped right back and you can mess up your account that way so it's very very important to be careful so what I want to do right now is I want to go ahead and look for an entry so I'm going to go back to my octave and I'm going back to some old school principles here pivots fibs but we're going to use them correctly this time now the good thing about this particular package is that it's not dependent on using something like MT4 or something like that, which means you can have any broker, any package you want. You can even use this in the stock market, uh, futures, S&P, if you do binary options, you can use it in all of these. So now that we know what our direction is, we're going to go ahead and plug in a few numbers. I'm also going to assume that you know a little bit about PIBs and FIB levels. If not, don't worry, I will have a more complete tutorial on that. You can use any time frame you want. I have my preference on what I like to use. Usually it's midnight to midnight, but you can also use intraday type pivots, which means you can run them from four hours or just from peak to peak. The choice is completely up to you. So in this case, what I want to do is I want to go ahead and I want to gauge myself an hourly set. So I'm just going to change a few things here just to show me period separators so I can see my days better. And I'm going to go ahead and grab my open. I'm just going to eyeball it, 118.08. Go ahead and grab my high. And I'm going to grab my recent absolute low. And the one last piece of important information is where the market is at at the moment. We're at uh, 117 and 67. These move around when I'm doing my ranging for Fibonacci. But right now we're just mapping. So right now I mapped the most important critical zones I need to pay attention to. And right now it's telling me I need to pay attention to M3, M2, and the pivot point. I have a projected ADR of 100. So I need to keep that in mind in my notes. What I want to be doing with my trading plan. Now that I have an overall view of the market, now what I want to do is I actually want to target. So I want to go back and then I want to confirm one more time what the actual trend is. And it's a downtrend on the dollar yen. So then that means we want to focus on downtrend, which means I'm going to go here and click here for downtrend. And we want to go back to our charts and we want to get our targeting data. So what I want to do is I want to look at and match my pattern. OK. 
Okay. Let me just double confirm that. Okay. Okay, I have a target one of one seventeen thirty and one seventeen oh one. So right now what I want to focus on is our first target here. Okay, so I have all my targeting information. Now what I want to do is I just want to go ahead and kind of time my entry a little bit better. Since we're dealing with the 10 pip window right here between that absolute high for the calculation and where we're currently sitting at. I'm going to go ahead and mark my charts with this right here just for a reference. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to go ahead and let this just rest for a little bit. I'm not going to enter the trade just yet because I want a slightly better entry and I don't mind waiting. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let this run and I'm going to come back and check on this in a few minutes. And then if the market's right where I need it to be, I'm going to go ahead and enter this trade. 